Hello everyone. The other day I asked on my Instagram if you all would like me to record a short tutorial on how to create grungy textured pages like this in your art journal or in any mixed media piece and the answer was a resounding yes. So here I am recording that video for you. Um, it's morning, I've got my fennel tea. Let's get into it. In terms of supplies, you're pretty free to choose whatever you like, um, but you'll need some heavy body acrylic in some colors that you like, some mark making tools like crayons, I use these woodies, they're water soluble, colored pencils, again in the colors that you like, I also use a 6H, very um, hard pencil, and a black ballpoint. And then one of the most important things to have is white acrylic because that binds it all together. So with these supplies, you can choose whatever you like, but just make sure you've got some heavy body white acrylic um, to kind of tie it all together in the end. In terms of tools, you will want a brayer and a palette knife, or if you don't have a palette knife, you can use a key card. Let's get going. Hello, it's voiceover Iris. So the key to this technique is lots of yummy textured layers. The first step is adding some color. I usually select around three colors of acrylic paints. I start applying them with a brayer or a palette knife. You want to create thin layers so that they dry quickly and focus on applying color in certain areas, but not all over. Once the page is roughly covered, I come in with some mark making tools. I use crayons and coloured pencils to scratch and swirl. With my 6H pencils, I can scratch into the layers of paint. I use my non-dominant hand because I love how I'm able to achieve more random and uneven lines this way. I add scratches, symbols and words. When I have plenty of marks and texture, I apply my white heavy body acrylic paint. I use a palette knife and the brayer. A brayer creates a fairly even and thin layer of texture, whereas the palette knife can create very interesting and uneven textures. Now, you could definitely stop here after a few layers, um, but I like to build up a few more layers to really get that rich complexity of the background. So I will give it a blast with my heat tool uh, and then kind of keep going with the same techniques. Essentially, I keep doing more of the same to build up the layers. After the white acrylic, I add more marks. You can go wild because we'll come back in with more paint layers to push it all into the background. I also use my black ballpoint for extra texture and grooves by pushing it into the paint and paper. I use my original paint colors to cover over part of the mark making. Then I come back with the white acrylic using both the brayer and palette knife techniques. With the brayer, I keep pushing and rolling until the paint is quite thin and evenly spread. With the palette knife, I am quite haphazard and use a light touch. This makes the paint look less homogenous. Deciding when the background is ready is a bit of an intuitive thing, and when I add a face or other elements on top afterwards, I still might add more to the background during that process. Working on an art journal spread for me is usually quite a dynamic process rather than distinctly separate stages. And there we go. It's a simple yet complex background and it takes about 10 minutes to create, so very satisfying. And it will give the perfect surface to do some art journaling on like this. So one of the things that I really like about it is that the lines that we scratched in with that um, pencil um, in the first layers, you can still really see those coming through. Really like that. I hope that this little mini tutorial was useful to you. If you follow this tutorial and you create some work and you want to share it, please tag me if you post it on Instagram or on Facebook. Um, I'd love to see it. And if you think this might be helpful to anybody else you know, please feel free to share this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!